Michelle with Creative Operation, and I have got a treat for you today. <laughs> I have made my third uh, design team project for Country Craft Creations using the Echo Park America line, and it is absolutely cute. And I made this cute little box album folio for you today, and I just thought I'd um, share it with you real quick. And then we have a tutorial coming up real soon um, in the next day or two. Um, I'm editing it right now, so um, it should be out by the end of the week for sure, but hopefully by Wednesday. Um, anyway, um, I just wanted to share with you uh, what I'm going to be making for you today. So again, um, I use the Echo Park line. I use 12 by 12 papers. This is the six by six paper pad, but I just wanted to show you um, what it was. Uh, but I did use 12 by 12 papers and I did use quite a bit to make this album. So uh, real quick, I'll let you know. I used, let's see, I got a list here. Um, I used the dark blue artisan cardstock and uh, I used eight of them to make the actual album and I used 12 You'll need 12 to 13 sheets of pattern paper in order to uh, finish the album and make all the, um, or, you know, mat all the pieces. Um, I also used a piece of red artisan cardstock and light blue artisan cardstock to make mats. And I used a couple pieces of white um, to create some pages and then use it for mats. So it did take quite a bit of paper, but this album will hold quite a bit. It's two and a half inches by six inches and then it's eight inches tall. So it's a big one. Um, so uh, let's go on with uh, going through what we used for this. Um, these banner pieces and the uh, title of this box album, um, 4th of July Memories, came from the ephemera pack that came with my design team uh, collection. And the seam binding uh, came in the design team package as well. And I thought I would uh, just tied it in a cute little bow and it kind of reminded me of fireworks with all the uh, different colors and everything. Um, I had flowers from my stash that I went ahead and used and the flat back pearls that I used. I covered the album all the way around on the outside, folds up into a nice sturdy box. And on the back of it, I also put one of the ephemera pieces backed with some cardstock. Um, on it. I just, I just think this album is so cute and it's so big. Um, you could actually do several 4th of July celebrations in here if you wanted to. Um, just really a fun album to do. So let's open it up. I did use four large magnets in the construction of it and that was solely to um, help keep it closed, um, to keep the integrity of the box. So there are magnets that hold it shut here. And when you open this panel up, um, you'll see that I used some stickers here this says 4th of July. These also came in the design team package. And right here it says Stars and Stripes. I put some stickers on this front page here. Um, celebrate Independence Day. And then when you open this up, like so, you'll see this page, um, United We Stand with a sticker. You could put a picture here if you wanted to. Um, and then it opens up like this. So on each side, um, we have a stacked page assembly. So I use some uh, lace ribbon from my stash and that just helps keep that closed. Um, this is one of the ephemera pieces here. And then um, this first part here is a pocket and I use some of the three by four cut aparts um, and just matted them on red card stock to put in this pocket. And then it has pages. So you could put lots of pictures here, um, all, kind, you know, all kinds of space for pictures. Um, on the other side, same thing, um, different cut aparts, of course, um, but super cute paper collection, another ephemera piece here, and then the pages open up again, they kind of mirror each other. On the inside spines here, I put some stickers from the sticker kit, and I used all, a lot of them, I don't have too many left. So this, this front page here, um, this page does it too. That's one white piece of cardstock, and then I put a strip of the pattern paper that was left over across the front. You could put a photo in here, and um, the sticker is I um, use the um, that uh, uh, talc powder on the back so that you could stick a picture underneath there, and it's adhered in the middle here. And then um, so there's that side it says land that I love, and then I mirror that with the American flag 
the United States. Same thing, you could tuck a picture underneath there. So it's kind of a nice way of creating kind of a matte, you know, um, feel by just using one piece of paper and then putting a pattern piece, you know, right under, you know, right over top of it and it divided it up, makes it really cool. Um, so then it opens up like this. Now, um, in the middle here, let's go over the middle here real quick. Um, I created a gusseted pocket and then a small pocket on top of that. Um, the gusseted pocket holds a notebook, and I will show how to do this in the tutorial. Um, but this is a journal uh, for your 4th of July adventures. Now, um, in the tutorial, I also mentioned that this would be kind of cute to... Um, you know, use if, if like you're really big into 4th of July celebrations and big family gatherings, this would be a really cute place to journal that. It would be a really cute place to put the favorite recipes that you bring for your barbecues. Um, we'll go through this in just a second. On the front, I just covered it with um, some of the paper from the collection. And then I used this, the truck sticker that came in the sticker kit was super, super cute. And I, and you know, I, I just wanted to put some flowers in the truck so bad. So I did a little slit behind the cab here, and then I layered some pinwheels and flower stickers so it looks like the truck is carrying all those things. And then I took one of the um, stickers. I'll show you. Let me grab the sticker sheet. Oh, I'm gonna throw it on the floor first. Um, the sticker sheet had all these word stickers, and so I took one of them. I thought my little truck needed a license plate, so I backed it onto a little piece of cardstock and made a license plate for my truck. And on the back, American flag, enough said. And then I used a lot of the stickers on the inside so that um, it decorated the pages. And I will show how to do this in the tutorial, um, how to make this notebook and, um, yeah, turned out really, really cute. So the stickers kind of jazz it up a little bit. And then that just fits in this gusseted pocket. And then in this front pocket here, there's places for um, cut apart. So we had in the collection, they had four by four cut aparts. So I did those and backed those on blue artisan cardstock. And then um, I made a three by four um journaling card myself. This is an ephemera piece with some of the stickers. And then this was an ephemera piece that I just backed and then fussy cut around it. And I thought that was really cute to put in the pocket. So there's lots of, lots of pocket stuff in there. Okay. So then these two sides, I made the angle pockets, but, um, they're a little bit different. Um, these I'm calling, um, angled swing pockets. And let me show you why. So I have tags in here to keep everything closed. Um, I used an ephemera piece here, a sticker, and then some flowers from my stash. So we'll take these out and you'll see that I had journaling cards and these are backed on white um, artisan cardstock. And then these open up and I made a stacked page waterfall that I have done in the past. And um, that gives you a lot of room for pictures. So I used Oh, and this here is a ephemera piece and it's and it's uh, attached so you could put a photo underneath there too. Um, this is a four by four um, sized waterfall and I took one of the four by four cut aparts and I just trimmed it a little bit to fit it in there and so that's what the front of that is. But then this closes up really nice and then you use your cards to keep everything all nice and closed like that. And then over here, same thing. We've got two nice big four by six cut aparts backed on cardstock, and then these swing open, and we have another waterfall assembly. Okay, so we have that, and that's um, pretty much that's the book. Uh, there's a half inch gusset everywhere. There's lots of space to add things. Um, you can put pictures in. On, just just fill it full if you want to. Um, and then when it folds up, it just folds up nice and neat. And um, tie this up here real quick. And then the magnets, again, are help, help with the construction of it um, just to keep the box integrity. And um, there you go. Ribbons and seam binding and all the beautiful red, white, and blue colors. Um, this is pretty easy to put together. It doesn't take a whole lot uh, of time. It does take, you know, a few supplies. But if you go to Country Craft Creations, Tamara has all the goodies you're going to need. The paper collection um, is Echo Park. 
and it is America and she has this in 6x6 and 12x12. She has the stickers, she has the ephemera packs and um, I think you're really, really going to like uh, putting this together. So thanks for watching this walkthrough. I will have the tutorial for you real soon. Um, let me know what you think and um, I'll be back in a couple days and show you how to put it together. Thanks for watching. I hope you did have a really great 4th of July and um, make this album and you can start documenting your memories. Talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Stay crafty. Bye-bye.